Elon Musk CEO of Twitter When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. It is important to view knowledge as sort of a semantic tree, make sure you understand the fundamental principles, e the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves slash details or there is nothing for them to hang on to. My proceeds from the PayPal acquisition were $180 million. I put $100 million in SpaceX, $70 million in Tesla, and $10 million in SolarCity. I had to borrow money for rent. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. I think it's important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. The normal way we conduct our lives is we reason by analogy. With analogy, we are doing this because it's like something else that was done, or it is like what other people are doing. With first principles, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths, and then reason up from there. The idea of lying on a beach is my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. I came to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. Really. The only thing THT makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. In terms of the internet, it's like humanity acquiring a collective nervous system. Whereas previously we were more like a, like a collection of cells that communicated by diffusion. With the advent of the internet, it was suddenly like we got a nervous system. It's a hugely impactful thing. One of the really tough things is figuring out what questions to ask. Once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. When I was a little kid, I was really scared of the dark. But then I came to understand, dark just means the absence of photons in the visible wavelength 400 to 700 nanometers. Then I thought, well, it's really silly to be afraid of a lack of photons. Then I wasn't afraid of the dark anymore after that. I could go and buy one of the islands in the Bahamas and turn it into my personal fiefdom, but I am much more interested in trying to build and create a new company. There needs to be an intersection of the set of people who wish to go, and the set of people who can afford to go, and that intersection of sets has to be enough to establish a self-sustaining civilization. My rough guess is that for a half million dollars, there are enough people that could afford to go and would want to go. But it's not going to be a vacation joint. It's going to be saving up all your money and selling all your stuff, like when people moved to the early American colonies.